Hi, welcome to another episode of uh, Table Topics RE. I'm Scott Shang. And uh, the topic I want to bring to the table uh, today is uh, about strategic partnerships and collaboration. Now, it, it seems like in today's environment, the, the way that the real estate industry is, I mean, things are tough for everybody. And one of the things that I've noticed uh, by talking to a lot of people and, and, uh, and just asking a lot of questions and meeting a lot of people is that there's a lot of folks that have been really successful in this environment. Uh, and the one thing that I noticed with everybody that is really successful is they don't mind sharing what it is that they've learned. And the other thing that I've noticed is, is no two people do it exactly the same. Some people are pretty good at marketing on Facebook or marketing online on their blog or, or YouTube with videos, um, but they all do it a little bit differently with a little bit different topics and a little bit different tactics. So when one of the things that's really important right now is I think that uh, collaboration and communicating and building strategic relationships. And strategic relationships, I think in the past, were a lot more about partnering with people that offer different services for the same consumer that you work with. Um, now I think collaborating is looking for people uh, in different services like title uh, companies, escrow companies, home warranty, insurance, attorneys, uh, mortgage uh, brokers, real estate agents, but look for people in those fields um, that have great marketing ideas, that can bring great marketing ideas to the, to, to the table and that are willing to share what made them successful. And Stacy threatened to come in here and, and jump on this video and, and say like, uh, and, and mention that this is the, what we've done now. Um, and I can absolutely tell you, the people that you're gonna meet on this site, we all kind of met each other just by reaching out across, uh, across the internet, across Facebook, across Twitter. You are gonna come over here and crash. <laughs> and uh, we all come from different backgrounds and we wouldn't have met if we weren't out there sharing um, you know, sharing our our ideas on, on, on how to grow our business. Well, I just think the key element is you've got to build a team. There's so much to know in all of yep. the social media marketing. And, you know, we we have a nice complementary skill set for the table topics team that we've got here between Bob Scott and myself. But as an agent, you, there's probably uh, a team that you need to build as well. I mean, there's a certain level of skill required, technical skill required to execute a lot of the things that we're talking yep. about here and uh, finding the right strategic partner, whether it's a whether it's somebody within the industry who has this, the marketing skill set that you're yeah. discussing, yeah. or hiring a developer that, or a marketing uh, consultant or agency that can really specialize and help you with your new media marketing needs. I don't think you can do it alone. That's there's a, too that's much the to learn <laughs> and, it, and it changes so fast. I don't think there's any way you could possibly do it alone. That's why Social Media Mastermind of Orange County and uh, Social Media Mastermind uh, for Real Estate <laughs> on Mondays is so valuable because we get so many people together and we can talk and share and collaborate. And uh, you walk away from those for you walk away from those meetings uh, with just one good idea. That's all I'm ever looking for is one good thing. And uh, and you don't have to reinvent what you're doing. You just have to look for an opportunity to improve what you're doing one small step at well, a time. Well, it's a continual learning process. I think that agents need to uh, make sure that they are leaving time to learn enough to know what you're delegating or hiring appropriately exactly. or partnering with. Right. You know? So I, you, it's, I don't think we're advocating that you have to do it all, but I do advocate I, that you have to continually invest in educating yourself about what's coming next and where the trends are going so that you can be making appropriate decisions in your partnerships and vendor selection. And you know what I found over and over again is sometimes there's enough mutual value in those relationships that it doesn't cost a lot of money because you're helping each other. Right. So somebody's really good at one thing and you're good at another thing, you can work together, you can barter, and you can do it at relatively low cost. Yeah. So that's what we brought to the table today. I hope this was valuable and... We'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks, Stacey. <laughs>